Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how we store our city bananas. Uh, they're not uh, frost hardy, they'll only go down to uh, freezing. Uh, if there's a frost you really want to get them in. Uh, it's it's uh, mid-November now and um, although we haven't really had a frost I, I, I kind of lost my nerve and I think we better get them in. Uh, it's going down to 4 or 5 degrees. We've got three of these uh, in-city bananas in the in the garden, and um, one of the we, one we bought this year, two two we overwintered last year, and uh, we dry we uh, basically dry stored one, and and the other one we we kept as a house plant. Uh, when it comes to deciding if you're going to keep them as a house plant or as uh, dry, try and dry store them, it's really how big the plant is rather than how much room you've got because if they're too small they they simply won't store very well and they, they, they end up rotting away and they won't survive if you can get your um uh, if you can sort of make a circle with your two hands with your th thumb and first finger you can get that you, if that's if the plant is too big you can't get that round the plant uh, around the stem of the plant then they're probably big enough to to, to dry store the two bananas I've got in the barrels, these big barrels, um, they're going to be dry stored and I've got one in the border which um, is, hasn't really grown very well and I'm, I'm going to just keep them as a house plant this year. <coughs> now the first thing you have to do is remove the leaves. Um, it, it's quite easy to do, they're, they're kind of like a giant rhubarb really and um, just an old, we've just got an old bread knife here and I'm cutting them off with uh, you want to leave a bit of the actual stem on because you'll find they, they, they tend to uh, rot back a little bit and uh, come next year you, you want to have a little bit of play so that you can cut and totally rot off and give them a, uh, you know, so that, so that the plant... You see they collect a lot of water down the down the stems and this is what you've got to try and get rid of before you store them. Uh, you can turn them, I tend to turn mine upside down or have them at a bit of an angle to try and drain them out. Uh, you see this one here isn't quite so bad, there's a few leaves and things down there, but that needs drying out and cleaning out before they're stored. Now I was being a bit uh, optimistic here, thinking I was going to get this out with a fork. Uh, you see later we had to turn the barrel over, but um, all of those leaves as I'm kicking out there, they're, um, what happened was uh, when it's been in there all year and the soil has sunk and I didn't want to put more soil on to top it up to the top because I was worried about it maybe sort of rotting away where we were burying the stem too much so I just put some leaves in there just to uh, just to fill the gap <laughs> don't have to worry too much about damaging the roots on these uh, a lot of people actually cut the some of the roots off uh, and trim them up I, I tend to leave on as many as I've as I can, as I can uh, get out but uh, the, uh, when you come to store them you find the roots will grow back next year it, it's just that big green uh, sort of uh, stem that, that needs to be protected now we didn't exactly feed this guy by the book. Um, 
we just used tomato feed on him and uh, we put some chicken pellets in early on in the year uh, mixed them in with the compost and he seems to have uh, liked it in the barrel it's grown really well I tend to try and wash as much of the soil off as I can I'm not that fussy because it it does tend to dry and and just drop off uh, over the over the winter I, I, I haven't seen any I didn't get any rot last year at the root level uh, the, the problem I had rot wise was was actually on the top of the plant uh, and it was late on once he started to sort of green up he, he went a bit mushy and I took cut cut some bits off Now, I won't be doing this next year. I put this chap in the border amongst my dahlias, and you can see an etchium there, and uh, there, there's some other bits of riciness there. And they, they, they kind of dwarfed him, and um, he couldn't, he didn't grow quick enough, and, and he didn't have enough light there, and he's not grown very well at all, this chap. So I think I'm going to keep this one as a house plant, try and nurse him, and um, nurse him over the winter and give him a better. Get a give him a better spot next year so he's got more you can see more of the sun you can see root wise he's not really got a lot of root on there you can see the difference in size of the actual stem anything uh, any, anything smaller than this thing here you, you, you're not going to be able to dry store in fact they want to be considerably bigger than this one here I'm just going to pot him up and and stick them in the greenhouse in a heated greenhouse and and hope for the best I let them dry out on the bins for a, for a couple of days then I put them in my potty tunnel and propped them up a little bit to to try and get the water out you can see they're they're quite dry there's nothing coming out there now I don't actually put any soil or any compost in the pots I just leave them like that just uh, just stick them in a pot to stand them up and um, they seem to do okay because they go dormant Now you can put them in your loft or in a dark room somewhere. I put them in my sort of outhouse where there's no light in there. It's quite dark and it, it, it stays around sort of 5 to 10 degrees. So you don't want it over 10 degrees or they'll start growing. Now I put a bit of this uh, yellow sulfur powder on to try and uh, stop the rot because rot is your main enemy over the winter. And, I, and I, I like to keep an eye on them, take them out of the pots and make sure that those roots are, are okay. There's nothing untoward happening in the pots. I'll leave them in here now until I'm ready to set them off growing in the spring. Well, that's it. Um, thanks for watching and, and please remember to subscribe if you're not already done it. Uh, it does give us a little bit of encouragement to make the next video. Okay, goodbye.